guys and welcome back to my channel or if you're new welcome to my channel it's me a girl my name is Aaliyah so today's video is actually going to be kicking off a brand new segment that I'm going to be starting here on my channel for y'all and the segment is going to be called makeup and chill as you can see by the title obviously so basically to give you a rundown of what the segment is actually going to be it's just self-explanatory we're gonna be sitting y'all gonna be chilling with me I'm gonna be doing my makeup and we're just gonna be chilling I'm gonna be talking to you guys giving you life updates we'll talk about gossip i want to incorporate talking about tv shows music just stuff that i really enjoy in life you know that i'm sure that you guys can enjoy too basically just give you guys my output my opinion on all of the things that i'm going to talk to you about now today's segment of makeup and chill is going to be more of an update kind of video so we're not really going to be talking about anything that is like of opinion so like tv music like i mentioned we're really just going to be talking about me and kind of just where i've been why i took that super long hiatus from youtube what my current plans are just giving you guys a huge update on my life and where things are all laying for me we're going to talk about some relationship problems we're going to talk about school my job just everything so we're about to get into this, this is going to be a long video i can already tell you right now but it is going to be a good one and i hope you guys are going to enjoy this one now there is something that i did want to mention to you guys um because someone who is subscribed to me that watched my crocs review actually commented on one of my instagram posts um and she mentioned the fact that she couldn't comment on my video basically youtube has my comments disabled for every single video on my channel at this time it has something to do with a previous video that i posted literally years ago of my child taking a bath the video blew up it literally got like 83,000 views and i'm pretty sure that it got inappropriate comments or something like that because people are fucking creepy and weird and you can't do anything in this world that involves a child that is not going to be sexualized or predatorized so i don't know if maybe it was flagged for inappropriate because of all the comments or whatever the case was but apparently youtube took it into their hands to disable comments on not only that video but every single video that i've ever posted on my channel previously and all of my videos going forward the thing that talks about this segment is that i'm not going to even be able to interact with you guys um, in the comment sections on this video if you do have things to say which is trash i guess youtube is working on it they said they will keep me updated i might make a video on all of this just to tell you guys about it because obviously i mean i get really irritated when youtubers disable their comments because like i want to put my opinion out i want to talk to them i want to interact with them so that would be annoying for me so i'm just giving you guys basically the rundown and explanation on that so that if you do see that you're not like well what the fuck basically it's out of my control guys i've really fought for it i emailed youtube support i've done basically all that i can and they're not budging so that's kind of where that is so if you were curious about my comment section that kind of answers that question however just because my comments are disabled here on youtube does not mean that you guys cannot interact with me if you would like i do have instagram twitter and snapchat i will go ahead and have those linked down in the description bar like they always are so you can go ahead and follow me on those platforms they're all public so you can comment on my pictures you can send me dms if you do want to interact with me of course um that's all down there for you feel free to follow me on all those because i am open for new friends and yeah that's basically all that i had to say about that i know that turned into a super ridiculously long intro as per you um, but I just kind of wanted to give you guys the rundown on what I am going to be doing and what to expect and what's going on with the comments and all that stuff just wanted to do some housekeeping let me stop rambling because that's this what I do all the time I'm always sitting up in here rambling giving you guys a 10 minute intro and that can get really irritating I understand so I'm gonna stop right here I'm gonna cancel this and we're gonna get into the video one more thing though of course if you guys haven't already please go ahead and subscribe to this channel also go ahead and click that notification bell right down below so you are notified of when i do post a video just of course so you do not miss out on any of my content coming also go ahead and give this video a huge thumbs up to show some love i can't talk what is going on also go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you have not already just to show some love okay also go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you have not already just to show me some love and some support i really do appreciate that and finally without further ado let's go ahead and jump into the video okay guys so like i said we're gonna be doing my makeup today and we're also gonna be gossiping so hopefully this video doesn't turn into a two hour long video because editing long videos is the worst like 
can we not? <laughs> so hopefully this doesn't turn into something way too long, but you know, makeup is a tedious process. I usually take about an hour just to do a basic full face. Um, and you know, me talking in between is definitely going to prolong it. So definitely expect this video to be a little bit longer. Grab some snacks, grab some wine or juice or whatever and get comfortable because we're going to be here for a little bit. I hope you guys do like the setup. It's kind of awkward just because I don't really know where I want to even do this segment just yet, but I'm actually sitting just in front of my desk right now. I usually will do my makeup here, whatever. So, you know, I don't have it positioned. Like I don't have my filming setup position in front of my desk. So that way you can't see all of this, but I think this is kind of cute. I'm liking the vibe I'm getting from it or whatever. So maybe we'll keep it like this. You guys let me know if you like it or not, of course, but this is what we're rocking with right now. I have all my makeup products just behind me. And then of course I'll show you guys what I'm using while we're talking and we're getting my life together so we're gonna get started i'm probably gonna move up a little bit just so you guys can see my face and see what i'm doing in some parts maybe my eyes but like for everything else i'll sit right here so yeah let's get started it's gonna be so fun um i feel like i'm chatting with my homegirls or some shit so yeah i'm probably looking like christopher columbus or some shit right now because of this ponytail but i have to get this hair out of my face so that i can work with my face i actually already have prepped and moisturize and everything so I'm already good to go with my foundation or my skincare routine we're already good to go I've laid my edges so all that is prepped and primed and ready to go I did not prime my face yet though so I'm gonna do that first of course and I'm gonna be using this elf poreless something I don't even know it wiped off this thing is so old I've had it forever so I'm gonna first um, just prime my face with this. I have my little mirror sitting right here next to me. So if you see me kind of looking downwards at some points, it's because I am looking at my mirror. So I'm gonna start priming my face now. I don't really know where to start as far as like life updates. So basically, um, as you guys have noticed, I was off of YouTube for literally like over a year. And I just recently started posting and filming again. Ooh. I know that you guys probably noticed that I was off of YouTube for a long time. I stopped filming and posting for a year. Hold on, let me fill this eyebrow in really quick. The reason that I stopped filming is because my life was basically in shambles. Um, at this point in my life, this was about the beginning of um, 2018 is when I posted the last video that I posted since a year. Um, and at that point, my life was going to shit, basically. So I was in a really bad um, position financially. I was in a relationship with my kid's father, who you guys are probably well aware of at this point. Um, and that relationship was basically near its end at this point honestly we were having just so many issues you guys like the relationship was in very very bad state and i knew at this point sort of like i think we both knew that it was going to end i will say that i didn't anticipate it to end the way that it did and we'll get into it and we'll talk about like what happened and stuff like that but i really honestly guys this thing was just like a big curveball for me and i was literally like what the fuck is going on basically my kid's father and i ended up breaking up officially in march of last year and it basically happened not only because we were just having so many problems within ourselves and each other but also because he was actually cheating on me for months and i found out it was it was horrifying it was literally the worst thing that ever happened to me in my life up until that point um and my heart literally like i don't think like i don't think that i've ever felt heartbreak like that until all of this happened um, cause you know, I mean, I've definitely lost loved ones and I know what that feels like, but it's kind of a different heartbreak than what I felt when I found out that, that my, um, my kid's dad was cheating on me. That all happened and then we ended up ending things officially in March and it was a very bad situation. It was very messy, um, mostly on my end just because I was so hurt and I was like a woman scorned. So I was being so ridiculous with it and... I honestly just made things more complicated than they need to be, but honestly, rightfully so, because 
nobody deserves to be cheated on no one deserves to know what that feels like no one should ever have to know what that feels like because I'm gonna tell you right now ladies it's if you've never been through it I pray that you never do because it is something that you will never it is something that you will never, ever, ever forget or ever get over and it will affect you and your um, upcoming relationships for as long as you allow it to. And um, I don't know, it was just a really bad situation. As far as like um, relationships since this all happened, I definitely have been with other men since me and my baby father broke up. At this moment, my relationship status is single, so obviously you can tell that none of these situations have worked out, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's just that we were not compatible. Um, I was with one other man right after Wilfredo and things blew up in flames there. And then also right after him, uh, not right after him, but after him, I was also in a relationship with one other person. And then one final person that we kind of just ended things like officially, actually a couple months ago. So I've definitely been dating. I've definitely been talking to different men, but none of them have just been really working out for me. And I mean, I'm not going to say it's one sided because I know that I'm responsible for some of the issues that we were having in those relationships. But I mean, it mostly was just the men that I was involved with, to be honest. I do actually have a video on all my previous relationships coming up soon. I'm actually still in the process of editing it. So if it doesn't drop before this video, um, then expect that soon. I'll go into detail in that video as far as what happened in all those relationships. But yeah, basically, your girl's single right now. I don't intend on being in a relationship anytime soon. And I don't know. I don't think that that's going to change for a while just because... I'm content being alone. Um, I have a lot of stuff going on in my life right now that I have to figure out. And I just prefer to do that on my own. But we'll talk about all that too, guys. Like, we have so much to catch up on, guys. Like, oh my God, like, I can't even do. Just to touch base on makeup, I just filled in my brows and I used my favorite, my L'Oreal Brow Stylist uh, Definer. And this is in the shade Brunette, my favorite brow pencil of all time, besides the Anastasia Brow Wiz. And that's like literally a dupe. So if you guys are looking for something a little bit cheaper, than the brow is that would be a great alternative and now i'm just applying some of foundation i'm using the maybelline um, matte and poreless foundation this is in the shade 118 which is lighter than what i usually go for but i am super pale right now because it is um it um winter just passed so i get super light in the winter i gotta take my earrings off but yeah this is what i'm using right now i'm gonna just apply this with my um real technique sponge and yeah just give that even on my skin tone because i'm all pasty and crusty and breaking out and it's just a mess to to get off of you know previous relationships because i don't want to talk about that no more honestly i do have a lot going on in my life right now and i am um basically just focusing on my career and i'm focusing on my children now a lot of you guys probably are well aware of this but i do have two children who are now three years old and two years old and they are a handful i'm telling you that right now um if you have any friends who have two toddlers under the age of four please check on us because we're not okay like honestly they are very bright they're super smart you know they're doing very very well in life i think they are the sweetest kids ever and yes of course they do act a little crazy sometimes but you know they're my babies and at the end of the day they are babies still so i have to understand that i try to keep that in mind when i get super impatient um but yeah they are they're doing really well we're doing really well they're very happy children and i couldn't be more blessed basically at this point you know they're my biggest motivation you know i want to do things i want to do great things um, because I want the best for them and that being said after me I broke up I quit the job that I worked at previously which was a terrible shitty retail job at JCPenney um, and I was making the shittiest fucking pay ever I had the shittiest hours and it was terrible so I had to get out of there guys like I had to do more because I mean I was basically transitioning into a single mother so I had to step it the fuck up. So basically, after me woke up, I uh, began job hunting and I ended up finding a, a phenomenal job, okay? Like, phenomenal. I'm going to tell you guys all about my job. 
in this portion of the video we're gonna just talk about where I'm at professionally and what my goals are um, so basically I do work for progressive insurance uh, the insurance company you guys probably know who flow is that's my girl I got hired at progressive in May of last year so it's been a little over a year since I've been with progressive I'm extremely blessed to have found that job and to have found that job at the time that I did because I was literally financially so fucked and progressive literally saved me from just like drowning basically in debt bills just all kinds of stuff progressive really came through and it did take me a while to get hired in i'm not gonna lie the process was very prolonged so basically with progressive there's like a three-step hiring process um so of course the application does have to be submitted submitted first and once you submit your application you basically just wait on them to email you back now i submitted my application sometime in april uh, maybe the beginning of April, I believe. And then I did get an email back from Progressive, basically just letting me know that the application that I put in was actually submitted, like my resume and everything, and accepted. So they did send me then a kind of career aptitude test, I guess. And basically it's just like basic math, English, like science, like it's so basic. It's like a basically a test that you have to take just to prove that you're obviously smart enough to solve problems and answer questions and you know all the good stuff all the stuff that comes with being a professional basically if you get a good score on that test they will proceed with the hiring process so after you take the test they send you an email letting you know yay or nay and then um, when you get the yay email they basically want to set up a phone interview with you so you pick the time and the day that's going to work best for you out of the options that they give you they'll give you a call and then they're gonna ask you some questions just pertaining to employment. They do use the STAR method, so if you guys are familiar with that, definitely keep that in mind. If this is a career you're looking to go into, insurance, anything like this in this industry. Fucking loud ass traffic. They use the STAR method, which is basically, um, I can't even think, I don't even know what the STAR method is anymore at this point, I forgot. They um, will ask you a couple questions as far as like problems that you've been in, um, in your previous careers and basically just like how you solve them they'll ask you i believe it was five questions or six questions when i got um hired and then once they go through that process with you they will let you know over the phone that they will submit it to their hiring manager and then they will get back to you as soon as possible i think maybe about a week or a few days after i did do the over the phone interview i don't remember if it was a phone call or if it was like an email but basically i just got notification back saying hey Aaliyah, you did a great job on your over the phone interview we would like to schedule an in-person interview on campus when i say on campus you're probably like what the fuck but basically progressive is a huge fucking campus we have multiple campuses in uh, mayfield ohio because that's where we originated the company is an ohio company so basically they wanted me to come back out to the campus or come there to the campus for the first time and have my face-to-face -face interview with an actual hiring manager. We set that up. I ended up getting a scheduled date for that. I went in and had my in-person interview with my hiring manager. Her name was Rika, nicest lady I have ever met or interviewed with. Like she was awesome. And basically just more of the star method with the interview question. Just more questions pertaining to your previous professions and like, um, you know, scenarios and how you solve problems and blah, blah, blah. Um, so we went over all of that. Once I finished up the in-person interview, literally a few days later, I got an email basically just saying, hey, Leo, we're excited about your candidacy. Um, we'll hope to be hearing from you soon. And basically when I got that email, that was telling me, hey, you're in, we like you, you're ours now. And I was over the freaking moon, guys, because literally the starting salary for my job phenomenal um very very good pay great benefits just all together an amazing company to work for so i was very excited and i was very blessed like i felt amazing about everything basically after that i got that email i was called a few days after that and they basically just set me up with hiring let me know when my first day was going to be what to expect what my schedule was going to be after on the job training and they allowed me to pick whatever schedule they had to choose from that was going to work best for me of course um, for after on the job training, which I did, and 
that was it. I started on the 18th of May. Well, technically the 21st, I think, is when I actually started my first day. And I have been there ever since. If you guys do want some more information as far as, like, um, what to expect with Progressive, if you are interested in, in working there and, like, how, you know, it works within the company, stuff like that, I can do a separate video because I'm just doing, like, the basics here um with progressive and like what it was like to uh get hired and how that all worked but if you guys want a in-depth video of like how to get hired and what you should do and you know all the things that you sh should present to progressive to show that you are a worthy candidate and a worthy person to work for the company i can definitely do a separate video about that but basically um, after I got hired, I think it changed now just because it has been a tedious process. But when I first started, I had six weeks of classroom based training. So basically just getting in there, learning the ropes, learning how to work through guidelines, how to um, talk on the phones to people, how to build a relationship with a customer, all the basics, right? And then once you finish classroom training, you start on the job training, which can take up to 10 weeks. I don't know if that's changed again. Things changed a lot. They change a lot in Progressive. Like Progressive is a very big on change. Things are constantly changing in our company. So right after I got word that kind of the hiring process as far as like training changed. So I don't know if it's still nine to 14 weeks of on the job training, but for me, um, I finished on the job training in I think 13 weeks or 12 weeks, which is probably the hardest part of um, progressive because that's basically when you're actually learning the job and doing the job with customers but you're you're new so you don't really know what you're doing for real um, so that's probably the roughest part of when you first start but then once you certify or you graduate on the job training um, and you become a certified insurance agent then you are able to go on the phone you join a new team and then you're basically just on your own and you get to branch out and you get to go to different departments and do all kinds of different things there's so many possibilities the, the possibilities with progressive are endless like literally there are jobs everywhere there's jobs in claims there's jobs in sales there's jobs in processing there are jobs in underwriting there's just limitless possibilities you guys so if you guys are interested in the insurance business if you're looking for a great company to work for with amazing benefits just amazing culture and just vibrations like just everything basically i definitely would, would consider looking into trying to get into progressive because i can guarantee you guys you'll love it i still love it to this day i definitely have my ups and downs just like any job but i do love progressive however <laughs> i am not passionate about progressive um you know i'm don't get me wrong interacting with customers is definitely something i'm passionate about just because of the simple fact that I do love to build relationships. It's just something that I naturally am very good at. I know how to talk to people. I know how to build a relationship. I know how to connect. So, you know, that's something I definitely love. Don't get me wrong. But, you know, guys, I'm not passionate about insurance. Like, don't get me wrong. I love insurance. I'm very knowledgeable about insurance. I know a lot when it comes to the insurance business. But that's not anything that I want to pursue lifelong. What you see me doing right now, this is my passion. I am passionate about makeup. I am passionate about being creative. I'm passionate about YouTube. YouTube is so much fun to me and it's the best hobby that I have. And if I do become successful on YouTube, that would be amazing. That would be, that would set me for life. Like I would be so happy because I freaking love doing YouTube. I love editing. I love getting creative and I love talking to people and trying to get my voice heard. I love beauty. I love anything beauty. Um, I want to be a part of the beauty industry. I want to perfect my craft. I want to be great at makeup. I want to do other people's makeup. I want people to feel amazing and look amazing for any event that they go to, or just if they want to look like that, I want to be that. So that being said, I finally took a dive here. And after many, many years of putting schooling to the side and trying to be a mom and trying to focus on my career and working and just making money doing something that I don't love but something that basically just has to be done. I finally took the plunge and I did enroll in the Aveda Institute, so Brown Aveda, and I enrolled in esthetician school. So I am going to be starting school in July. 
to be an esthetician. I'm going to get my license so that way I can um, perform um, facials and I'll be certified in makeup and I'll be able to work with clients and I'll be able to do waxing and lashes and microblading and all of the amazing things in the beauty industry that I freaking am obsessed with. And I could not be happier, you guys. Like I am so, I am so excited. I am so excited to start this journey. Um, I don't think that anyone will ever understand how happy and how proud I am of myself that I have finally done this. I have just been putting my life aside for the longest just because, you know, I am a mom. I don't have the luxury of time. And that's just being 100% honest. I don't have the luxury of being able to take all this time, you know, working part time, living with my parents, doing what most people my age are doing which is fine, you know, I wish I could do all of those things, but I ended up to take a different route and I had kids, you know? So I have different responsibilities than a lot of people my age. And those responsibilities take a lot of time away from me to do things that I love and do things that are for myself rather than for my family, which, you know, I'm not complaining about because I fucking love my children and I would do anything for them. And I am so blessed and happy to be a mother. Like being a mom is the best thing that ever happened to me. It made me the person and the woman that I am right now in front of you guys. So don't get me wrong. I am so happy to be Amelia and Valentina's mom, but me being a mom takes away from time that I have to do things for myself, which is why again, I did take a bit of a hiatus from YouTube just because I had two babies and I just didn't have the time, guys. I mean, that's just the reality of it. But I finally took the dive because my mom, who is amazing, is going to be able to help me and um, watch the babies and be able to make sure that they're good while I am at school pursuing basically my dream. So I really was excited to share that with you guys because that's a very big part of my life right now. I will be starting school July 22nd officially. My first meet and greet for school is on the 10th of July. Um, so I'll just basically be going in and meeting my instructors, meeting all the girls that are gonna be in the class with me or boys and just getting a feel for Veda and kind of getting the rundown of what to expect once I do officially start on the 22nd. So I'm really, really excited. Registration is all taken care of. And basically now I'm just waiting until I actually start, which will be basically about a month from now. So I'm super, super excited for that. That will be a journey that I will be sharing with you guys. When I do start school, I'm actually going to be vlogging my entire experience and I am very excited. I actually just got this idea from a YouTuber that I am watching now who's currently vlogging her experience at Aveda. And I figure why not because they're going to be two things that I'm very passionate about. And you know, it's also educational. So if there are any other women or men who watch my channel who are aspiring to be estheticians um you guys can kind of see what you can expect if you do go to the aveda institute which is good and i think it's it i think it's going to be really good and educational for you guys too because the videos i've been watching have definitely led me towards the path of taking the esthetician route um instead of cosmetology which i was considering at first and there's nothing against cosmetology at all it's just that i don't care for the hair part of aspect of it i just don't want to work with hair that's not something that i care to do but yeah i think it's going to be a really good segment um once i do start school i'm going to start vlogging and i hope you guys are going to join me for that ride too because that'll be a lot of fun and that'll be a good experience to share with you guys so I definitely wanted to bring that up too because it is a huge life milestone for me so that's kind of where I'm at professionally and as far as education I am going to be starting school soon so that's kind of where I'm at with that um I do have as far as like long-term goals for estiology um I do kind of um intend on kind of just doing my own thing at first I may want to um, work at a spa or work at um, a salon or somewhere that I can actually use my license and, you know, do skincare, um, do facials, do waxing, stuff like that, um, lash extensions, all of that good stuff. But um, I definitely do want to work independently just for a little bit because I want to get a feel for just being like my own boss and kind of doing things in the comfort of my own home and being able to offer services for good prices for people who um you know maybe can't afford these services because yes they are tedious they are 
um, important. They're a lot of work, but you know, a lot of people honestly can't afford them because I mean, I'll tell you this, lash extensions are very expensive. I was getting them consistently for a little bit, but they were just too pricey. They were out of my budget. Um, you know, skincare is so important. Facials are so important. And you know, makeup application, people getting their makeup done for prom, homecoming, stuff like that, you know, and a lot of people don't have the money to afford it. So I wanna be able to offer those services for a more reduced price. So that way I can build clientele and I can see, you know, I can get people that are genuinely just good people and want to come back to me, not only because they can get a bomb ass facial or a bomb ass makeup job or whatever it is, but also with just them knowing that I care about them and I want what's best for them while also not trying to overcharge them. You know what I'm saying? So that's kind of like my goals as far as once I do get my license and I am certified as far as being an esthetician. Um, and then long-term goals, of course, would be, who knows, potentially owning my own business. I want to be a boss lady. Like, obviously, I am just, I just am in that mentality. I always have been. And this is going to get me there. And I'm, I'm so happy that I finally took the dive. I have been talking so much. I completely forgot to tell you guys what I've been doing with my makeup. So basically, I laid down my foundation. I set my face with my Cody Airspun powder. Um, I also set my under eyes with the NYX Banana Powder. Um, I also went ahead and um, contoured my face or bronzed my face, blush and highlight. Use my e.l.f. Um, blush palette and my e.l.f. contour and highlight palette. And then I used a sleek uh, contour and highlight palette to highlight. So this is where I'm at. This is just my base right now. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and start eyes. So I'm gonna move up a little bit so you guys can see what I'm doing with my eyes. So basically I'm gonna just be using this Huda eye palette just because it's easy <laughs> and it has all my favorite colors in it. So I'm gonna use this one and I'm gonna start um, just doing a very simple eye look. I'm not doing anything crazy because I don't even think I'm going anywhere, honestly. Um, so yeah, I'm doing something very simple with my eyes. And then while I'm doing this, you guys, I do have to tell you a life update too. So like I said, I'm trying to do makeup. I'm trying to be a certified esthetician. I'm trying to be a boss ass lady, correct? I'm embarrassed to say, but I finally just now learned how to um, do false lashes. Like I'm so fucking, like don't get me wrong. I'm excited about it because I couldn't do it in the past, you know, like I just could not finoodle with lashes at all. Every time I would try to put them on, it would be a hot fucking mess and I would just get so upset and I would just cancel it, right? So I finally learned how to put them on and successfully and I'm excited about that. So I wanted to share that with you guys. And another thing too is the reason why I actually even started using them, you guys, is because I did end up getting lash extensions, like I mentioned. I was getting them done for a little bit and I don't know, I just really honestly couldn't afford them anymore because, um, you know, single mother, two kids, bills. <laughs> so I just wanted to stop like doing them and I wanted to get them taken off, but I didn't want to pay to get them removed. So I watched a couple videos on YouTube on how to remove them which is probably ridiculously stupid, but I did that and then um, I ended up ripping. And I say ripping, you guys, I mean ripping. Like ripping like t all of my lashes out. Like I'm not even kidding, almost all of my eyelashes were gone, okay? I had like none. And I don't know why the method I was w using wasn't working, but I used olive oil to remove them and i don't know it just wasn't working it was taking some of them off but like not all of them and i was getting so fucking upset about it and it was late and i had to work the next day literally guys i literally just started ripping them out like i had no fucks to give at all so i badly um damaged my lashes and i pulled out like so many lashes and i was like bald with lashes so that's why i was like oh absolutely not i need to learn how to do these lashes so i can look cute still when i do my makeup because my lashes look terrible even with mascara like literally i had like two lashes so it just looked a fucking mess so that's kind of why i even learned how to put them on and also not to mention i'm going to school for osteology i should know how to do makeup at this point so like, what the fuck do I look like going in there, not even being able to put fucking false lashes on? Like, absolutely the fuck not. So I had to get that together. I finally learned how to do that. With the lash extensions, I kind of got off track there. <laughs> I, I, don't, I was talking about them and then I wasn't, I don't even know. So with the lash extensions though, guys, they are, I mean, I don't really know how to explain it. I don't think 
that they are worth the money unless you get them like super long and super lavish now i had a like the first set i ever got was just like a natural full set um you know just nothing crazy no crazy curls no crazy length just like a natural full set because obviously it was my first time getting them done i didn't even know what to expect or what they were gonna look like so i didn't want to do anything too crazy to start so i did a natural set and i have to say that i was not impressed i noticed that when i got the lash extensions done they basically looked just like my lashes just with mascara on and i'm like well wait a minute for all this i could just put some fucking mascara on like you know what i'm saying like i was really like i don't know i was just very underwhelmed um so if you are gonna get lash extensions at least this is just in my opinion. I'm a mom of two and I have the extra time to just go put some mascara on instead of getting a $60 to $100 set of natural lash extensions. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Just in my opinion, I wouldn't even waste the time or money if you are going to get a natural set because believe me, honey, they look literally just like your lashes just with mascara on. I mean, that's just in my personal opinion based on my own personal experience of course so if you want to do that by all means do you but that's just my opinion on that now i will say i did try a um a different set and they were a little bit more voluminous and a little bit more um flashy and bigger than the set i got originally and those i was impressed with they were so pretty i'm gonna insert a picture somewhere so you can see what they look like but they were pretty honey they were pretty and honestly those ones were worth it to me so if you are gonna get lash extensions and believe me i'm not knocking anything because i'm going to school to be an esthetician and do these things so of course i advocate for them lash extensions are dope as fuck if you can afford them and, and like to keep the upkeep and keep them going even if they're natural even if they're full effect whatever the case is if you can afford those hoes by all means do it i'm at, i'm an advocate for them but if you're someone who's on the fence or if you're someone who really can't afford the service like regularly to continuously get bills whatever the case is or if you're someone who just is like a natural kind of girl and you wear like mascara or whatever and you're looking just to get a natural set i would say pass on the natural set if you are gonna get something more voluminous or something more um you know out there i would say definitely get like the volume set or get whatever set that your esthetician will offer whatever it is um because those ones were definitely so pretty and you know listen to me if i could afford to continuously get them done every single two weeks because you do have to get them filled consistently because they naturally will shut off with your natural lashes and of course just with daily wear they're gonna eventually come off so if you are someone who can afford to get them consistently done every two weeks by all means girl go off but i'm just not that person right now especially because i get my nails done i get my feet done i get my hair done i just have so many other things that i like to do as far as like pampering myself and making myself look beautiful um that i think i'd rather i'd prefer spending money on those things rather than um lash extensions but that's just me but if you are someone who can afford all of the finer things in life then just do what you gotta do because i honestly think that um they are they are worth it to an extent i'm basically just about done with my um makeup and I think I touched base on just about everything I wanted to talk to you guys about, like the most important and crucial things. Um, we already touched base on my, you know, previous relationships ending. Um, we talked about my career, school, all that good stuff. And, you know, everything that's important to me, we already talked about. Now, while I'm finishing up this last little bit of my makeup, guys, we need to have a conversation about freaking about television, okay? Because I don't know if any of you guys are watching any series or if you guys are watching, um, if you guys have Hulu or Netflix or if you guys have cable or whatever the case is. But y'all, I, okay, so I just started, I watched Riverdale for the first time. Um, I don't even remember when Riverdale came out, like two years ago, a year ago, whatever it was. And y'all, I was instantly like freaking obsessed with that show. Like, I'm not even gonna cap. I freaking love Riverdale, like off rip. I watched it on Netflix for the first time. 
and the first season was fucking phenomenal okay now then the next season came out and again phenomenal okay and then the third season finally just dropped on netflix i'm not someone who carries cable anymore just because i don't see the fucking point to be honest so i had to wait for it to drop on netflix um and honey when it dropped on netflix i fucking binge watched that show like crazy like i could not stop watching are any of you guys watching riverdale currently watching or have watched or finished riverdale up until season three because y'all oh my fucking god that shit is crazy okay crazy and i don't want to talk about the ending or anything or anything basically in the show because i don't want to spoil it for anybody if you are watching the show but y'all highly recommend that tv show if you guys are someone who likes to binge watch shows if you're bored or whatever the case is riverdale is definitely going to be a must watch definitely get on the riverdale train if you haven't another really good one that i was also binge watching is the act so that one's on hulu if you guys have um hulu of course it's a hulu exclusive and it's based on um the story of gypsy rose blanchard and her mother and basically the whole story of how that occurred with ultimately her mother being murdered that one's phenomenal too really freaking crazy story like i mean this one's pretty known so i'd have no problem talking about this because this is actually like a true story it's based on so basically gypsy um was what was her freaking name i don't even know the mom's name i can't even give you it but her mother was basically mentally ill and um, forced Gypsy to be fake sick her whole entire life so that way she could get money and she could have pity and this, that, and a third. And Gypsy was like healthy. There was nothing wrong with her. Nothing at all. Where the fuck is the other lash? What do I do with the damn lash? I'm using these Ardell double ups and then the 113. Oh my freaking god. These are gorgeous lashes. Like, I'm screaming. Like, these are beautiful. I'm obsessed. Anyway, I keep getting all sidetracked because I'm trying to put my lashes on and they make me really nervous because I'm just new at it and I'm not great at it yet. So, y'all, I'm sorry. Bear with me. Gypsy, um, Gypsy's mom was like, she was literally like, she had to be mentally ill. And she basically self-diagnosed Gypsy with all of these uh, health problems that she didn't really have and just in order to get money and clout and all all the things that i guess she wanted in life and it worked gypsy was fake sick for many many years of her life and um she was miserable and um she met this man on the internet and they built this relationship with each other and um they got really really close and they became really great friends and um eventually significant others and basically because of all of the things that gypsy's mother was doing to her um you know forcing her to be bald for forcing her to be fake sick all of the just the terrible things man like terrible they basically hatched a plan to end her mother and it did work because her they did end up killing her mother and in the the show it does portray that gypsy's boyfriend was the one who actually did the killing now I don't know if that's all confirmed or not because Gypsy is in prison right now and so is her boyfriend. They're both in prison for the situation. So I don't know like what the full story is as far as like the true story aspect of it. But I think that that is just fucking insane. I finally got my lashes on guys, oh my God. But um, yeah, I feel like to an extent I can actually feel for and relate to, not relate to because my mom never did no shit like that to me, honey, no. I can actually feel for Gypsy and I can understand why she would feel the need to kill her mother. Now, am I condoning killing? Absolutely the fuck not. Like she could have done many other things besides killing her mom. Um, but I can understand where she would come from with having, feeling kind of trapped, feeling that there was no way out other than killing her mom because there was just like nothing that she could do. I mean, there was plenty of things that she could do, but I'm pretty sure at that time she was feeling like there was just nothing she could do. Honestly, that story, blew my fucking mind and the show is phenomenal the actors really portrayed their parts really well in the show overall just a very great show um if you guys do have hulu and you have not yet watched the show i do recommend um trying to check that out because you know like i said crazy phenomenal um story if you guys do have some extra time to binge watch anything i highly recommend the act in riverdale all right guys so i'm basically finished up here and now last i'm just gonna do my lips 
I'm going to be lining them with my favorite brown liner for the lips ever, which is the Jordana Easy Liner in the shade Coco Loco. And I'm just gonna line my lips really quick. So now that I finished lining my lips and I look like somebody's chola, I'm gonna go ahead and fill the lips in now. And I'm gonna be using this NYX Butter Gloss. This is in the shade Tiramisu. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and just fill that in and ombre it out and just make it look all cute or whatever. Okay, so now that my lips are done, last but not least, I'm gonna go ahead and just set my whole face. I'm gonna use the uh, Wet n Wild Natural Finish Spray, which is my fucking fave. So let me do that real quick. The lash band is a lot thicker on this one um, because it is a double up, so it's two lashes basically in one. And so with a dick, a, a dick, a dick. <laughs> With a thicker lash, it's gonna be a little bit harder to work with, to be honest. A thinner band is really easy, but a thicker uh, lash band is a little bit more difficult. You have to kind of place it really strategically so that it doesn't pop off. So I'm just waiting for this to dry down a little bit so I can reapply it. Um, and then we're gonna finish up the video. So just give me a sec here, okay? <laughs> All right, y'all, so now I'm all done and this is gonna give you the finished look. Earrings. Yo, gotta put my earrings back on. You know, y'all know me. If I'm leaving the house without earrings, I'm having a really bad day. Or if I forget to put earrings on and I leave the house, my day is basically ruined at this point. All right, guys, so that is gonna sum up this makeup and chill segment on my channel. This video is going to be fucking horrendously long. I am so, so freaking sorry, y'all. This video is ridiculously long and I'm upset. But hey, you know, we had a lot to talk about. We had a lot of face to beat. So you know, sometimes it takes some time, which is okay. That is going to sum up this makeup and chill video. I hope you guys really did enjoy sitting down, doing makeup, talking with me, getting the tea on my life, because I will do more of these if you guys do like them. That's basically gonna be it. If you did enjoy this video, please be sure to give me a big thumbs up, of course, just to show some love and support, which you guys have definitely been doing for me lately, and I really do appreciate that. Also, go ahead and subscribe to the channel um, so you do not miss out on anything I do have coming for you. Also, hit the notification bell too, of course, so you don't miss out. Follow me on all my social media. I do have it all linked down below in the description bar as well so you can keep up with me off of YouTube and also talk to me because like I said we're having a situation with the comment section so you know that's that's something we we working on but definitely go ahead and follow me so you can talk to me keep up with me creep on me do whatever you want to do and that's gonna sum up this video again thank you guys so much for tuning in and I will definitely catch you next time